Okay, so this is Baldur's Gate Enhanced Edition, which is the enhanced version of the old computer game Baldur's Gate, which is actually one of my favorites when I was growing up. Me and my older brother and also my younger brother would play it a lot, so much so that we had about, <laughs> we went through about three burned copies of the six disc set and have since lost all three copies except for maybe like disc number two of the third iteration. So we're gonna go ahead and play. This is a game for you. Probably. Maybe. New game. Alright, so what's fun about this is you can like actually create an entire party and play the whole party. But I'm just gonna create one character because like then we get to see all the fun characters that are in the game already. I guess I'll be female. Done. Oh yeah, look at these pictures. I think my favorite one was this one when I was playing it when I was younger. Oh, she's cute. Do they have new ones? Oh, I don't remember these. Oh, these are fun. Now we're back to the beginning. Okay. Oh, you're cool. Yeah, we're picking you. Let's see. Hmm. Ooh, everyone except humans. Oh, humans can dual class. They can't multi class? What's that mean? If they can dual class, but they can't multi class. Who knows? Hmm. See, everyone else seems to get bonuses. Two saving throws. Ooh, rod, staff, and a wand. I think I'll use a staff. That'll be fun. Alright, let's see. Give me a fighter, cleric, thief, or a fire thief. Hmm. Hmm. I think we'll do just a regular fighter. So you can wear any armor, use any weapons. Yeah, that sounds fun. Let's do that. Class kit. What the fuck? Kensai, what is that? Sword Saint. Common Tongue for Sword has been specially trained to be one with her weapon. Kensai is deadly fast, trained to fight without the protection of armor. Well, that's fun. Oh, this is great. Okay. I think we're definitely going to do Barbarian. <sighs> I don't really want to be evil. Hmm. I don't want to be lawful good either, though. Somewhere in this area. I think it'll go chaotic good. I'm gonna say barbarian, of course. It would be like a, a peaceful barbarian. Alright, here's the fun 
the fun part here. So here's the total of all of your ability scores. And you can re-roll it until you get a higher total. Which I don't remember you being able to do before. Looks like I Oh, I can store one. Oh, why didn't I do that? Yeah, store that one. Let's see if we can get anything higher than 82. Oh man, I should have stored the first one that I got. That was the best one. Um, let's see if I can get back up to 80. Oh, fuck. I skipped the 84. Oh. <laughs> Hold on, I'll be right back. Okay, so... This is Gandalf. I don't know if we can actually see him. Probably. So, I, the highest I got was 87 after we rolling a bunch of times. So, let's see what we want to do. I'm a fighter, so I probably want strength and constitution. So maybe bring intelligence down one or bring strength up one. Wisdom is usually wisdom and intelligence are usually used for magic. So we use those to bring strength, dexterity up. Oh, maximum seventeen. Okay, I like that. All right, let's keep that. Let's see how that goes. All right, skills. I don't want to use a quarter staff. So let's use that one. Ooh, I have three proficiency slots. Oh, I can be double proficient in something. Ooh. Let's do staff and warhammer. Yeah. Maybe like longsword too. Or some sword. Short sword. Yeah. I know this might not be like the most efficient use of my skills, but this is just the kind of character I want to play, so I'm gonna do it. Oh, right. I can pick my color choice here. Oh, I want green hair. I want... I could be a watermelon person. Um... I don't know. That's a nice little color combination there. I like the gray. I can't tell what my favorite color is. That's boring. Actually, I'll do purple. I like purple. Purple and like a blue. There we go. Okay. Oh, the green. Okay. Oh, some voices. All will die. <laughs> Your life shall be mine. Death will come swiftly over you. <laughs> Death will come swiftly. Go, go, go! Jesus. That's the scariest sounding halfling voice I've ever now heard. Now you're going to be sorry! That sounds kind of like what I expect. Like it may be halfling or gnome to sound like. Who's in for it now? Who's in for it now? Your life shall be mine. All will die. I like that one. <laughs> I think I should go with the Lady Skeletor go, voice. Go, go. Oh no, this one. Death will come swiftly over you. Nah. All will die. Yeah, we're going with this one. <sighs> this is the worst part. Um. Uh, Bethula. Yeah. Corals. I think we want to do normal. I 
Yeah, like I play D&D, &D, but I really just, we play really casually, so I don't know. Well, when I've played, I, play, I haven't played recently, but I've played really casually, so I'm just not familiar enough with the rules. I think we'll just do normal. We're not gonna do easy. That's way too good. No. We're not. We're not that bad. Um, venture forth. Nestled atop the cliffs that rise from the Sword Coast, the Citadel of Candlekeep houses the finest and most comprehensive collection of writings on the face of Farron. It is an imposing fortress, kept in strict isolation from the intrigues that occasionally plague the rest of the Forgotten Realms. It is secluded, highly regimented, and it is home. Within these hallowed halls of knowledge, your story begins. You have spent most of your 20 years of life within this keep's oh. austere walls, I am a young under hobbit. the tutelage of the sage Gorion. Acting as your father, he has raised you on a thousand tales of heroes and monsters, lovers and infidels. It has been so long since I played this tragedies. that I don't remember. However, one story was always what was in the told. original, or if any of this that is new, so this is all like. Heritage. Once I get in, I'm sure you I'm gonna recognize everything. I actually orphan, started playing. But your past is largely unknown. Lately, the enhanced Gorion version of the second game before I had access to this one. So now I'm playing this one on his heart. because I realized that jumping into the second game after so long was very confusing. But your queries have been in vain. Your sole comfort is the knowledge that he is a wise man. And you know he will tell you when the time is right. Nonetheless, his silence is troubling, and you cannot help but feel that something is terribly wrong. Today, Gorion has appeared more agitated than ever, and now he has uncharacteristically interrupted your chores in the middle of the day. Well, Imparting hurried instructions than... for you to equip yourself for travel, he has handed you what gold he can spare, but given no clue as to why. Nevertheless, you now stand before the Candlekeep Inn, ready to purchase what you need for an unplanned and unexpected journey. Oh yeah, this is definitely familiar. Surely. There's... Okay, let's see if the guy says the thing that I think he's gonna say. Certainly. My wares are... My inn is as clean as an elven's arse. My hotel's as clean as an elven arse. My hotel's as clean as an elven arse. Alright, I'll be back in just a second. I am freezing. Are you one? Come to visit your old pal Winter Peavy. Well, don't forget the 10,000 gold piece book entrance fee as per Candlekeep's custom. Don't... Don't you know? Where is this guy even from? That's outrageous. What kind of fool do you take me for? Stuff your in and stuff your company. It's funnier nearly every time I hear it. Well, perhaps not quite so often. Okay, that's hilarious. Right. Oh, just having a bit of fun with ye, my friend. Them monks may be walking about with poles in their nethers, but you know you're always welcome here in my sight. Garion did well by you. He did. So is there anything I can do for you? Some drinks, a room to sleep, or anything to buy? I want a hammer. Yeah, I want this. I have 17. Buy a hammer. Buy a quarter staff. Might as well just get all the weapons I can use. Get a short sword if he has one. Oh, I don't have enough for. Oh. I don't want a battle axe. How do I. Oop! I don't want that. Okay. I'm not sure what I missed here. Okay, I want a quarter staff. Oh, I'm so confused. What, what is going on? Why can't I sell the quarterstaffs? I just want one thing. Okay, I just want the warhammer. That's it. Okay. 
there we go. I just want one short sword. There we go. And I just want one quarter staff. <laughs> or half quarter staffs. Okay, so then he's got this stuff here. I don't need a drink. Okay, I'm done. Okay, so I've got a quarter staff equipped here. Can I equip anything else? My inventory. Ah, uh, yes. Take this warhammer, put it there. Take this short sword, put it there. Um, okay, good enough. Let's go talk to these guys here. Hello, child. Shall yeah. we continue your lessons? Uh, I can tell you such things. Okay, yes, this is tutorial. Hello, child. Shall we More tutorial. Yeah, I'll figure it out. I don't need that. Um. It's a hard to find decent folk nowadays. Oh, jeez. Ah, uh, yes. I'm back within the hallowed halls of Kennel Keep. With its iron crisis upon us, the trip from Varagos was more hazardous than I care to relate. You're Gorion's ward, aren't you? My, you have come into your own. If you permit an old man jealous of youth to say so. Hmm, I left an identifi identify scroll with Teth. Oh god, I don't have my glasses. Teth tutorial in the inner grounds. He should be done examining it by now, so if you could fetch it for me, I'd be grateful. Okay, so I have a quest. Right, that's in my journal, which is this. I want to find Gordon. That's the main story. Yeah, I need that. What else do I have here? Oh, yeah, that's my character sheet here. And then spells, pre spells. Ooh, I should save. Fine. Okay. Move around here. Ooh, it's a pleasure talking. to meet a socially acceptable person such as yourself. Oh, but then why do you want me to leave you alone? Rude. Right. No time to chit chat. I need a good fire. Ooh. There are moths stand up. Oh, now she's talking to me. Fine. Oh, I could be mean. <laughs> I could see if she has any uh, jewelry for me to steal, but I'm good. So, well, I'm chaotic good, so I don't really follow the laws, per se. Hmm. Nah, I think that's the best one. It's a simple matter of not letting anyone enter at all. It would certainly be a shame if they did, though. Such a storehouse of knowledge has limited use. No one can use stored knowledge. Ah, uh, well, it is cozy enough here by the fire to wash away any troubles. Oh, okay. I steal that. Is it stealing? Am I get in trouble? It doesn't look like it. Uh, I don't know if I know how to lock pick or anything. I don't remember how to do that, so I'll have to. Okay, let's go up the stairs. Simpler done than said. Oh, yeah, taking that. I wonder if the alignment like affects what you can and can't do. Oh, someone's in here. Should probably not steal stuff right in front of them. Probably doesn't end well for me. Oh, oh there's a dude. Don't Hello. touch me! I'm gonna catch something. Wrong room, I fear. <laughs> we might help me to your valuables. Turned on many occasions which to my banker's dismay and have not even scratched the surface of the collection here. Would that it were so for all oh my god, would that it were so for all of my noble brethren, I fear. Many come to the keep merely to proclaim what that they did. I suppose it makes them appear more intelligent, those simple quizzing places, the majority of them securely about the chimp level. I'm sorry, I tend to ramble. Good eve to you. Okay, sure. <laughs> Can I, can I 
rotate the screen? Probably not. What is there going on here? There's a guy in here, right? Away with you, beggar! These guys are so rude. Jeez. <laughs> I can see there's a pattern to the cho dialogue choices. This guy's just mean. Alright, back downstairs. Simpler don than said. <laughs> I love her voice. Alright, let's go outside. Simpler don 